Hello, um, in the past video we went directly to our database to fix a problem that prevented us from signing up a new user. In our database, what we basically did was to go and set a default value for the role ID. So, uh, but in, the, in Laravel, it's not advised to actually work on your database directly. You're supposed to create a migration, then run migration, and it will update your database. Now, that I didn't want to do that, so I have to I had to um, go and set it directly in my database. So, but which means um, it's a problem. We need to fix it in our migration so that if somebody is going to get the software and the, the person wants to run a migration straight up, it should. Um, run without errors okay so we're going to set a default value in our migration for role id so that when it's being created um, it will have a default value so this is how you set default values in laravel also we want when the person is running the migration uh, they don't have to run two different migrations so we just delete this and make sure that any migration anybody is running at all should just be a one-time uh one-time thing so here we just paste all the contents of the other migration so there's just one migration for the user stable that's it sorts our problem so the next thing we have to look at is the navigation if you take a look at the navigation here in this Laravel you'll see that there's just one um, item on the menu which just leads you to log out so what I'll do is to try and add an account here all right that will um, add another drop down here or just here so that uh, we can have other items here Alright, so to do that, what we'll simply do is to go to our resources. Inside the resources folder, you go to views. Inside the views folder, we'll look for the item that has a navigation and it's probably, uh, it could be this. This is the guy that has a navigation, the app.blade. And what we're looking for mainly is the, the drop down that has this. Okay, so, um, this one, what, what this does is when it's a guest, when the user is not logged in, should show the login and register um, links. But when the user is logged in, it should show the drop down. All right. So what we're going to do is when the user is logged in, apart from the drop down for the user's details, we should see a drop down of something like um, what do we call that? Um, I just duplicated that. I copied the drop down here and pasted it on top of this place. So I'm going to start editing now. Um, as you can see here, it's trying to get the username. Uh, we don't need the username here. We just need to call it something like uh, account details or whatever. My account. My account. Oh, uh, well, um, without a drop down, there's another way we could do it. We could just make it uh, just look like this ones. So it's just, they'll just be links. So we can just say uh, from what we have here we can just say um, companies my companies companies that's my companies uh, projects and tasks so and of course we'll need notifications but then that one will be an icon for us so we'll put it further down the video so to see all my companies all i have to do is companies um dot index or what if i can remember clearly then um to see all my projects projects and then to see all my tasks should be tasks dot index i'm not really sure about the url so but uh, let's check it out and see whether it works for us so keep an eye here i uh, will refresh and then um, see whether it will work for us it's refreshing you can't see it but i can so just as expected it's complained it's not supposed to be dot index it's just be companies i i presume so what we're going to do is to remove all the dot index we're trying to list all our companies and all our tasks this way is cool then we can refresh and Oops, what we did before actually worked. The problem was that there was no tasks index. So if we go to routes, so just to make sure that we have an a route for tasks. So we have tasks. It should be plural. So make sure you fix this for us. Tasks index. So this should solve it. If we go back, we can refresh and uh, just be sure that we've done it. 
So uh, our item, our app now has companies, projects, tasks, and um, drop down here. So one more thing we have to add is an admin menu. Uh, we will sort it out later on, but eventually we'll have to have an admin menu, okay? So this sorts out uh, this video. We'll see you in the next video where we'll go deeper in, and deeper into um, solving other things. Thank you. See you.